Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 33. How does a company like DoorDash, with millions of users and food items, fine-tune their feature store, the system responsible for storing and serving feature data? According to software engineer Arbaz Khan, the DoorDash feature store had a lot of inefficiencies and recently came close to running out of capacity. Khan and his team set up a benchmark test, comparing Redis as an in-memory store with four other disk-based key-value stores. They tested for read latency and CPU usage with 10,000 operations at a time and a batch size of 1,000 lookups per operation. Redis outperformed all other candidates. Using Redis hashes on benchmarks produced a 40% drop in read latency and a five times improvement in CPU efficiency. Khan's post on their benchmarking techniques may help teams in other domains improve the performance of their key value stores. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 24 for more. Two open source vendors recently compared their time series databases with their competitors. Timescale DB measured itself against Amazon TimeStream and found that it significantly outperformed Amazon TimeStream in insert and query performance as well as cost. CrateDB measured itself against traditional RDBMS, NoSQL, and time series databases. CrateDB excelled at handling huge amounts of time series data. See Gradient Flow newsletter number 24 for more. Internations, a Munich-based expat network, conducted a recent survey of international cities with over 15,000 expats representing 173 nationalities. Healthcare, safety, work-life balance, and housing costs were significant factors in the ratings. Valencia and three other Spanish cities rated in the top 10, with Dublin and Hong Kong at the bottom. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.